Hi, for Campus Insiders, I'm Ken Bykoff. Indiana's bye week couldn't have come at a better time for the Hoosiers. IU took the opportunity to let some aches and pains heal, and the Hoosiers worked on themselves first and foremost. The biggest focus came on run defense, an area that has been an issue for Indiana this season. Well, in my opinion, we've, we've looked very hard just conceptually to make sure that what we're doing, our kids understand our calls, our alignments, and where to go, and how to play the structure of the defense right. I don't think we've played uh, structurally sound and as clean as we need to. And I think, again, you go through and, and if you've got some young guys and you want to do some things to, to quote, take advantage or, or, or sometimes maybe even disguise what you can't do, if you're not careful, you over-scheme. And so to me, we've had, we've had significant amount of miscommunication, misalignment, and we're not as sound as we need to be versus we're getting totally blocked all the time. Now, maybe the biggest problem for IU defensively has been discipline, and part of the problem has been some lingering trust issues between the players. We got guys not hitting right gaps and guys trying to make plays. Hey, I want to make this tack when I peek inside and I get hooked. Or same time, I'm supposed to go outside and keep the, keep the run turned in. I'm peeking inside trying to make the play. So our thing defensively, and we've, we've put a fair amount of time and some energy into it this week, is, is to make sure that we're getting lined up a lot cleaner and giving our guys a chance to know what they're doing and being a little bit more aggressive in what we're doing. IU comes out of the bye week relatively healthy, although offensive lineman Peyton Eckert is still hobbled by a back injury and isn't expected to return this week. For Campus Insiders, I'm Ken Bykoff.